I got to say, new market's been definitely one of the strongest markets I've seen over the last six months. Um, I mean, if you're a seller in new, and you're in new market and you think that the, you know, the market's actually not been doing, doing the best, I mean, I, I would have a look at um, some other things besides price. Um, and I'm going to show you that in this uh, market update video. So we're going to look year over year. So we're going to start with November 21. We had 128 new listings come to market, 142 active listings, uh, sorry, 142 sold, which means the market sold more listings than actually came out. 34 active listings, which pushed into November, sorry, December 21. Um, October 22, we had 143 new listings come out, uh, 81 sales through the month and 140 active listings. So definitely saw those, uh, that inventory hanging around, um, get a little bit bigger. Uh, November 21, we are sorry, 22, we had 118 new listings come to market, 85 sales. So not dissimilar to the month before in sales, but we saw a lot less listings come on the market and the active inventory reduced, uh, to 111, which pushed into December. So a lot less inventory there. So you're going to see some strength in the numbers as I continue to go. If we're looking at the money, uh, a million two hundred eleven thousand was the average sale price across all home types in new market a year ago million one hundred twenty four in october twenty two and a million ninety in november twenty two was the average sale price in new market across all home types um, the snlr stands for sales to new listings ratio it is also known as the absorption rate now it tells us out of the homes coming on the market each month what is the percentage of those homes that are actually selling? So a year ago, uh, the market sold 10% or 10.9% more homes than actually came on the market, right? And you can see that through the numbers. There was more sales than there was listings that actually came out. Um, where did those extra 10% come from? It comes from this. It comes from the active listing inventory when, when markets are really, really, um, uh, you know, spouse, uh, sparse and droughty on, on uh, new inventory coming out or get scooped up fast, then um, buyers tend to look back at this, um, this active inventory and in markets like this the active inventory can kind of get a little bit forgotten and I always like to add that reminder in there um, so 56.6 percent of the homes that came on the market in October 22 sold wow we're into 72 percent again um, so if you want to know this is how we determine whether it's a buyer's market or whether it's a seller's market so anything over 60 percent is is considered a seller's market and that would tell us that there is more demand than there is supply um, when you're under 40 percent um, which we're not in any of these but when you're under 40 percent that would be indicative of a uh, buyer's market and then when you when you're between 50 percent and 60 percent that would be what we consider a balanced market where there's enough supply to meet the demand and that's where the market's been kind of of bouncing around um, the last few months is more of that balanced market um, and I've, I've said this in videos for, for probably six months the market has slowed but it is by no means a slow market this is a very different market than what we saw back in uh, 2017 for instance um, months of inventory remaining tells us that if no other homes came on the market after today at the current rate of buying or current rate of consumption how long would it take to completely deplete the inventory we have so a year ago 0.2 months of inventory 1.7 in October currently trending at 1.3. Now, these numbers are probably, in my opinion, the most important numbers on how, how to gauge the market, on where the market's at. Generally, we see these, um, the sales to new listings ratio and the months of inventory, we generally see those go opposing to each other. So um, as we see the absorption rate go up, we're seeing the months of inventory go down, like from the month prior I'm talking. Um, and there are certain times a year where they both do travel in the same direction. Um, like for instance, it would be in the springtime when you have a glut of new listings coming on the market, like massive, you got 30 and 40 new listings like every day. Um, you know, when you got sales happening, typically, yeah, you would see these going in the same direction, but most of the time they're going like this. And so it's a really good gauge. So as you see these pointing in the right direction, obviously this one getting lower, um, and you, you, and then you have the absorption rate going higher. Uh, these are great for buyers or sorry, great for sellers, but still I am going to point out why this is a great market for buyers as well sale price to list price ratio home selling 111.3 percent of ask a year ago 99 percent and staying steady at 99 percent in uh in november 22 days on market to get a home sold 90 year ago uh 19 in october currently trending at 20 days now one thing I could pick out of these numbers for both buyers and sellers right now for sellers, it's the obvious one. We're in a seller's market, a new market. So, um, I mean, you know, the money may have dropped a bit, but you have to remember this is an average sale price across all home types. So, uh, you know, a new market, there's 
condos, there's townhouses, there's semis, there's farms, there's multi-million dollar houses. And so depending on what's predominantly selling this month, um, you'll see that number get dragged around. So I would actually, sellers, I would not pay attention to this number so much. I would be paying attention to these numbers, pay attention to these figures. And this still is, is an excellent market for sellers. For buyers right now across new market, not a hugely big town, um, 111 active listings, right? You got 1.3 months of inventory compared to 0.2 a year ago. So you got 1.1 month of inventory more to look at than they did a year ago. So is there enough inventory out there that you could find something? Yeah, for sure. And this is what I'm always saying to buyers that are being a little frustrated. Homes will always get their first, or sorry, their, their, their most amount of marketing and their most amount of views and their most amount of walk-in traffic the first two weeks on the market. But what about when those homes didn't sell in that first two weeks or three weeks or a month? Um, and then they fall into this category, into the active listings. So, you know, I always say this to every buyer I work with, you know, if you're not seeing what you want out there in terms of, of price or features, let's circle back to some of this older inventory because the reason it's usually sitting there is due to price and so you know when a home has been on the market for 60 days 100 days 90 days whatever the case may be you know the motivation can change from that seller a little bit i i would venture to say that the vast majority of of um, sellers that were on the market when the market shifted back in march april um and they didn't get their number most of those are gone most of the most of the sellers you're seeing out there right now at least from what I'm seeing, are, are sellers that want to sell. So uh, if you'd like me to spin you up a list of, um, you know, some older inventory and we can talk about what some of my suggestions might be, I'm happy to do that. Shoot me a DM.